Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to your Get Lean and Strong yoga class. You won't need any props for today and we'll actually just get straight into the class. So you can come towards the back of the mat, we'll just start in an easy and relaxing child's pose. Now you have the option to have your knees together if you feel like you have some compression or some yucky sensations in the low back. Just keep your knees together to have more support. If your low back is fine and you want to go deeper into the hips, you just part your knees about the width of your mat. Then walk your hands away from you. Bring your forehead down towards the floor. We'll just take a few moments here to settle ourselves into our body, into our practice. Let's take a few moments here to deepen your breath. See so if you can slow down your breathing. And with every inhale, see if you can find more space throughout your spine. So allowing your spine to grow taller with every inhale. And then with every exhale, allow your body to become a little bit heavier. Imagine your body melting down into the floor. Good, about five more breaths. See if you can also quiet down your thoughts. Notice if there's any parts of the body that can use some extra relaxation. So if you notice any extra tension maybe in the shoulders or the hips or anywhere else in the body, See if you can allow those muscles to release just by bringing your awareness to them. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, look forward, lift your hips up away from your heels and come to all fours. So in all fours, you want to have your palms right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. From here, we'll bring the attention to our core. So lift your belly button in towards your spine and then gently lift it up towards your heart. This energy lock is called Uddiyana Bandha in yoga. So it's an inward motion and then upward motion. Try to keep the core engaged, uh, engaged there. So keep that lock. Our next exhale, um, reach our right leg back and your left arm forward. We'll take a look at your right hand. Make sure you have a lot of space in between the fingers. So spread your fingers as far as you can and then press your fingertips firmly into the floor to give yourself some extra grip. Now lift through the right armpit up. Keep engaging the core and then lengthen your toes away from your fingertips. So try to find as much length throughout the body. Two more breaths. Without moving your legs, just engage the inner thighs towards one another so it feels as if you're kind of um, engaging the legs in towards the midline. One more deep breath in. Exhale, place your left hand down underneath the left shoulder. Step the right foot behind the left one. So you're trying to create a line from your left hand all the way to the right foot. And then from here, reach your right arm up. Now squeeze your butt cheeks, so engaging the glutes. It feels as if you're trying to bring your whole body into one line here, into one plane. So you could even imagine a wall behind you and the back of the body should be touching the wall. Now option to stay here or if you want to make it a little bit more intense, see if you can lift your right leg off of the floor. Keep engaging your glutes for stability. Keep pressing through the left fingertips here. And of course, core is engaged. Two more breaths. You should be shaking a little bit. See if you can press through the ball of the right foot backwards to have this top leg engaged here. Last inhale. Exhale, bring it back down. Good, we'll repeat that on the other side. Make sure that your core is still engaged so you still have that Uddiyana Bandha going strong. Reach your left leg behind you, right arm forward. Again, take a moment to bring the awareness to your left hand. Make sure you have a lot of space in between the fingers and you're gripping 
your fingertips into the mat here. This is going to help protect your wrist, making sure that you don't put too much weight onto the wrist. Lift from the left armpit up. Again, core stays engaged. Reach through the ball of the left foot backwards. The right fingertips are reaching forward. Two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, place your right hand down. Left uh, foot will step behind the right one. So you're creating a line from this right hand all the way to the left foot. Now reach your left arm up. Imagine you're trying to squeeze your body into one plane. So engage your booty muscles to kind of push your hips a little bit more forward. They will have a tendency to kind of peek outwards. <laughs> Does that make sense? You want to suck them under. Again, core is nicely engaged. As long as it feels good, you can look up towards your left thumb. This is your option one. If you want to take it further, lift your left leg off of the floor. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Again, the biggest tip I can give you is to engage your glutes, booty muscles. So you're squeezing your butt cheeks together. You also want to press the tops of the toes of the right toes down into the floor. Last inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Really good. From here, uh, walk your hands about one hand forward, lift your knees off of the floor, and come to a plank position. We'll stay here for a little while. If you want to, you can always do your plank onto your knees. It's always an option. Again, a lot of space in between the fingers, gripping the fingertips into the floor. Of course, stays engaged. Two more breaths. Make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders so you don't want to have them too high up, also not too far down. So a nice straight line from the shoulders to the heels. Our right, next exhale, press hips back to your down dog. And feel free to pedal the feet out a little bit if that feels good at this point. Good. Now gently come to stillness in your downward dog. Take a look at your hands, so take a look forward. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Again, a lot of space in between the fingers, so really spread your fingers as far as possible. Grip your fingertips into the floor. Now, press your head back along with your chest so they're both moving back. And allow your head to hang heavy. So no weight in the neck here. Or I should say no tension in the neck. Good, press the upper arms together towards one another and then spread your shoulder blades. So bringing the shoulders wide. Press the backs of the hips towards the wall behind you. We're holding down dog for a few breaths. <laughs> it's quite intense, huh? All right, five more breaths. Feel free at any time here to bend your knees in down dog if that feels better for the hamstrings, for the backs of the legs. If not, you can just try to stretch out the legs. Three more breaths. You should feel your shoulders starting to warm up, maybe starting to shake. Make sure you keep pressing the upper arms towards one another as you broaden the shoulder blades. Good, one more breath in and out. From here, walk your feet together so the big toes are touching. All right, next inhale, lift your right leg straight up come towards your three-legged dog. Now, very important is that your hips stay aligned and stable. So don't allow this right hip to open up. You don't want to do this. You want to press the front of the right hip down, engage the inner thighs so that your hips stay parallel to the floor. So the right toes are pointing straight down, in other words. Keep pressing your chest back towards your left knee. Shoulders on fire, one more deep breath in. Exhale, right knee into the chest, tiger curl, roll forward towards a plank position, and then inhale, come back to your three-legged dog, reach your right leg up. Exhale, tiger curl, press through the fingertips, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl, good, now step the right foot in between the hands, bring your left knee down. On the inhale, reach the arms overhead, make sure your core is nicely engaged. And then here you want to make sure that your right ankle is underneath the knee. So you don't want to have it too far in or too far back. Good. Two more breaths. Keep pulling 
the core in so it'll almost feel as if you're trying to pull the fronts of the hips in towards the lower ribs here so it's a kind of inward folding motion if that makes sense good all right option to keep the uh, arms extended overhead or to make it a little bit easier you can um, bring your hands together onto the upper thigh on your next inhale you're going to lift the left knee off of the floor coming to a high lunge and exhale bring it back down inhale lift up exhale down inhale up press the left heel back exhale down <laughs> two more inhale you should feel this in the right leg <laughs> exhale down one more inhale and exhale down place your hands down step your right foot back come towards your plank position take a deep breath in exhale shift the weight forward as far as you can option to bring the knees down and then come down into one plank all the way to the floor and tuck your toes Make sure your hands are underneath your elbows. Press the elbows in towards your body. Reach your shoulders back. Press through all 10 toes. And then inhale, come up to a baby cobra. So just lift your chest. Now tuck your toes under, press back to a down dog. Good, walk your feet back together. On the inhale, lift your left leg up, come to a three-legged dog. Keep engaging the inner thigh, so don't allow the left hip to roll open like this, keep the left hip closed. Keep pressing your chest back, two more breaths. Make sure you keep pressing the upper arms together as you broaden the shoulder blades. One more deep breath in. Exhale, tiger curl. So bring your left knee to your chest to roll forward towards the plank position and then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. Last one, exhale, tiger curl. I'll step the left foot forward, bring the right knee down, inhale, reach up. Again, core nicely engaged, two breaths. Allow your hips to sink down here a little bit so you feel a good stretch at the front of the right thigh. Just make sure that as you sink the hips down, your core stays engaged. Very important to protect your low back. Really good. Option one, keep the arms stretched out. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. If you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself and you wanna have a little bit more stability, just place your hands onto your front thigh here. So once you're ready, on the inhale, lift your back knee back, reach the right heel back, and then exhale back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Good, three more, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up really hard <laughs> exhale down one more core stays engaged for stability exhale down place your hands down step your left foot back come towards the plank deep breath in exhale shift the weight forward come all the way to the floor maybe first through the knees untuck your toes inhale baby cobra so just a little lift or full cobra pressing through the hands keep the elbows bent exhale down dog Walk the feet back together. Press your chest firmly back. Inhale, three like a dog with the right leg pointing up. Exhale, tiger curl. Good, two more. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Last one, inhale. Keep pressing through your fingertips. Exhale. And then step the right foot down. Now bring your left heel onto the floor at a 90 degree angle. Your front heel is in line with the middle of the back foot. Option one. Option two, if you want to create more space for the hips, you can bring your front heel in line with the back heel. So option one was front heel in line with the middle of the back foot. Option two, front heel in line with the heel of the back foot. Once you've decided what feels best for your hips, does the windmill, the arms up, come to a warrior two for your rasana B. Bend deeply through the front knee. You want to almost have a 90 degree angle here. Core stays engaged and you engage your booty muscles. So you pull your butt cheeks towards one another. You create a nice little grandma butt. Good. Option one to stay here. You should feel your front leg starting to warm up. If you want to make it a little bit harder, just lift the front heel off of the floor. It's going to bring a little bit more fire into the pose. Maybe come a little bit deeper. Keep everything nicely engaged, but relax the shoulders. One more inhale. 
Exhale, move back to a reverse warrior. So your left hand is onto your left thigh, your right hand is reaching back. You keep the legs the same as they are, legs don't change, it's just the upper body reaching back. Keep breathing. Inhale, come back to warrior two, place your heel down. We're going to make a little funky transition to a high lunge twist. So you pivot over the back foot and you open your arms to the other side. Pretty funky, huh? All right, really good. Come deep through the front knee, open your chest as far as you can to the right side. One more deep breath in. Exhale, place your left hand down onto the floor, reach your right arm up. Good. Keep reaching through the left heel back to make sure your left leg stays engaged. And then from here, for a moment, bring your right hand to your right hip. Walk your uh, right foot back, either the feet in alignment or the legs together. Two options. From there, reach your right hand up. You got to make sure you have a lot of space here between the fingers of your left hand. Press through the fingers. Lift through the left armpit up. If you want to make it even harder, option three. Just lift your top leg away from the bottom one. Super intense. One more inhale. Exhale. Come to a plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Come down again, maybe first through the knees. All the way down to the floor and tuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra option one. Full cobra option two. Option three, upper dog. So you extend the arms this time and you lift your hips off of the floor. Exhale, down dog. Good. One breath in and out. I'm definitely out of breath as well. All right, next inhale, lift your left leg straight up. Deep breath in. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three legged like dog. Exhale, tiger curl. One more inhale. Exhale, step your left foot uh, in between the hands, press the right heel down, so the back foot is at a 90 degree angle, so the toes are pointing straight to the right side. Again, either heel to heel alignment or heel to inner arch alignment. Completely up to you, whatever feels best, windmill the arms up and come up to a warrior two of your dross and Again, booty muscles engaged, so create a little grandma butt by <laughs> squeezing your butt cheeks together. Come deep through the front knee and make sure you keep pressing through the outside edge of the back foot. Option one is here. <laughs> Option two, lift your left heel off of the floor to intensify everything. Your drishti, your focal point is to your left middle finger. Maybe come a little bit deeper. And next exhale, sun warrior or reverse warrior. Just reach back with the upper body. Keep the legs as they are. Core is super engaged here. There's almost no weight into this hand, the right hand. All right, next inhale, come back to warrior two. Bring your left heel back on the floor if you were in option two. And then funky transition to a high lunge with a twist to the other side. So you just pivot over the back foot and then open your body to the left side this time. Good, keep pressing your left hip back, right hip forward. <laughs> One more inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down. Reach the left arm up. Good, keep pressing through the right heel back. Lift the right, the back of the right kneecap up towards the ceiling. And exhale, left hand onto the left hip. Walk your left foot back, either with your feet aligned or with your uh, legs aligned. Now reach your right, nope, left hand up. Right hand would be hard to do here. You would definitely flop to the floor. <laughs> Good, three more breaths. Either staying here or option three, lift your left leg away from the right. Keep reaching through your right armpit up. Good, one more inhale. And exhale, come back to your flank. Deep breath in. Exhale, shift the way forward, come down to the floor. Inhale, three options. Baby cobra, full cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Walk your feet back together. 
Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, jump. Just come to the front of the mat in whatever way you want. Bring your hips down to the floor. Walk them about halfway the mat. And then you'll have your legs out in front of you with your knees pointing up towards the ceiling. I'm out of breath as well. <laughs> Take hold of the backs of the thighs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, roll your shoulders back. So you want to have good posture here. Reach your weight back until your toes become weightless and then lift them away from the floor. You want to have your thighs, or sorry, your shins parallel to the mat. Good. This is your option one in Navasana. Option two, extend the arms out sideways. Make sure you keep pressing the legs in towards one another. Keep lengthening through the spine with every inhale. Three more breaths. Last breath cycle. And then cross the legs, bring them down onto the floor. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. So the right hand comes behind you, left hand onto the right knee. Inhale, open the chest. So glide your shoulder blades together and then exhale, twist to the right side. Try to keep your core gently engaged here to protect your low back. And the twist is mainly coming from your belly button up. Just imagine that you're trying to bring your shoulders parallel to the side edge of your mat. And then inhale back to the middle, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen the spine, open the chest here by gliding the shoulder blades together. And exhale, twist. Make sure you keep your spine as tall as possible and as perpendicular to the floor as possible. So don't lean back in a twist. Just keep your shoulders stacked on top of your hips and then just twist from there. As long as it feels good for your upper back and your neck, you can look behind you. If that doesn't feel good, just look straight ahead or to the front of the mat. Your next inhale, come back to the middle, take hold of both knees, and then very gently roll down to the floor. Really good. From here, just scoop about halfway the mat. If like me, you were at the back of the mat. Just bring your right ankle on the outside of the left knee. So you're creating a figure four with your legs. You want to flex your right toes here. So you pull the toes in towards your ankle. Right arm comes through the legs. Left arm comes on the outside of the left leg. Option one, take hold of the back of the thigh. Option two, take hold of your shin. And then very gently start pulling your left leg in towards your chest while at the same time pushing your right knee forward. So both knees here are moving in opposite direction. You're trying to pull your left knee in as you're pressing the right knee forward towards the front of the mat. And the combination of those two opposite motions will create a nice stretch here on the outside of the right hip. You should feel a nice release there. Make sure you relax the tops of the shoulders. Just a few breaths. Feel free to close the eyes. Take a moment to catch your breath. Good, two more breaths, and then we'll switch it over to the other side. The bottom of the exhale, ground your feet back into the floor. Move over to the other side. So left ankle just outside of the right knee. Left hand will come three legs. Right arm will come on the outside. Option one, take hold of the back of the thigh. Option two, take hold of your shin. From here, this time you'll pull the right knee in towards you. So the right leg moves in as the left leg moves forward away from you. So in and out. And that combination this time should create a nice stretch on the outside of the left hip. Maybe you'll feel it even into the hamstrings, so the back of the thigh here. Bring the awareness back to your breath. See if you can deepen the breath 
and slow it down. If your heart rate is still going strong, try to use your breath to calm down your heart. So deep breaths will help. Two more breath cycles in this pose. The bottom of the exhale, bring the feet back down. Now last time, bring both knees into your chest. Give them a good firm hug. Hug them in towards you. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, you roll to your right side, very gently and controlled. And then from there, push yourself up back to a seated position. You guys have made it through this quick, but so intense, um, get lean and strong flow. I hope you enjoyed. My hands are still shaking. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a good sweat on and um, leave any requested videos down below, any classes that you'd like to see in the future or any themes that you want me to cover. All right, guys. Namaste. I will see you next week. Bye.